Thank you for tuning in to the 2024 Dallas Singles Crokinole Championship. In this matchup, we have two currently unranked players in the NCAA standings, Joshua Malloy versus Mark McCleary. These players last faced off, I believe, in the Texas State Crokinole Championship, where Malloy took the win over McCleary in the semifinal round, going on to win the Texas State Championships. Meeting now in the Dallas semifinals, this is a race to seven. McCleary to shoot first. Again, whoever gets to seven points first will be moving on to the finals round to face a winner from the other semifinal match. McCleary opened shooting a bit long. Play now closer to Malloy. McCleary getting lots of action off the post, now leaving an opportunity near the 20 for Malloy. Unfortunately, catches a peg, creating some more action in the 15 region. Now two discs on the board, one from each opponent. McCleary for the easy takeoff, two discs in the 15. A little bit of pressure on him since he is against the hammer, but sitting comfortably, Malloy will be looking to make something happen. Unfortunately, McCleary's disc caught the 20 hole on that impact, stayed on the board. Cleary looks like he'll be going through his own to get at Malloy's disc. And seems like he caught the post a little bit and was also a little bit strong, loses his own disc and doesn't get Malloy's off. Malloy going for, looked like he might have been going for that double there. Able to make contact with the second disc and looks like it is demoted to the five point region. Seems to be just sitting on the line there. Few shots left now. Malloy is in a good position. Pressure is now on McCleary who needs either a 20 or some kind of double. Double definitely isn't there. I'm not sure if there's a follow through opportunity here. Able to bring it in and looks like he's nicely in front of that post. Little bit of space, but could be a bit of a troubling shot. Yep. Malloy a bit too head on with that. Loses his own shooter. Doesn't get the off either. McCleary's disc still sitting in the five there. If he is able to hit the disc and maybe roll away a little bit. So it's not an easy roll in for Malloy. Could be in a very good position here. He doesn't want to lose his shooter. Oh, unfortunate. Loses his shot in the process. Now, Malloy has a bit of a situation here. He goes for that five. Both those discs, technically, that uh, one disc of McCleary's does count as a five points as it is on the line. If Malloy wants to win, he could go through the posts, and as long as he can stay in the 10 and hit that one disc off, he'll win. But if he wants an easy tie, which looks like what he'll be doing, he'll go for that outside one, and that will tie up the first round, one to one. We see that very nicely, not quite snug to the post, but did give Malloy some trouble. Nice placement from McCleary. We go into the second round now. Malloy comes up short on that open 20. Maybe a drop back opportunity here for McCleary. It is a little bit far, but looks to be there. And he gets it with the off to go. Very nice. Pressure definitely on Malloy now. He's against the hammer. Down a 20. Comes up short again. Looks like McCleary is going to the other side. Now to score another drop back 20. If he's able to convert here, he will be in a very strong position at the start of this second round. Oh, not quite. Looks like it was in and bounced back out. Also doesn't get the off. Again, he is up a 20 at this point, so certainly not in a bad position unless Malloy is able to convert something here. Looks like he was maybe going for that touch, but caught a post. The opponent's disc caught a post and bounced his out to the 10 region. 
McCleary might have been going for the double there, but at least got one off and doesn't leave his in a great position for Malloy to carve in. Oh, gets a 20 off that one sitting there. Very nice. I was paying attention to the wrong disc. Very nice shot from Josh Malloy there. And McCleary with an aggressive play going through his own to get that far opponent disc. Very nice. Malloy now. They are tied in the 20s. He is against the hammer, so he'll either need to draw a mistake out of McCleary or get back to the middle. Very nice positioning on that disc there. Not sure if McCleary is able to get around the post. I don't think so. He's probably shooting over the center. Looks to be how he's approaching this. And bounces over the 20 hole. Opportunity now for Malloy to get a 20. Doesn't get the off. That could be costly. McCleary does have hammer. And at this point, we'll be looking to have two discs in the 15. Down to our last few shots. In the 10, still very much strong advantage for him right now. If the round were to end like this, McCleary would be the winner of this second round. So, needless to say, Malloy needs to make something happen here. Rolls to the far side of the post. McCleary could keep play on the outside here and be in a very comfortable position. Looks like he's hunting for that angle in, though. If he did get a 20 here, he would all but seal the round. Looks at the situation. Looks like he will be going for it and gets that 20. Very nice from McCleary. I believe that all but seals the round. Need a massive blunder from McCleary. Yep, yeah, that... As it is on the board right now, McCleary has already won. Going for that last takeoff, inconsequential. McCleary will take this seventh, uh, second round, bringing the score 3 to 1. See this very nice drop back 20 from McCleary. I want to see this playback from Malloy. I wasn't paying attention there to the right spot. Very nice touch 20 on his part as well. And then this angle in, which solidified the second round for McCleary. Very nice shot. We go into the third round now. McCleary to start. Malloy with Hammer. Now finding the 20s range. First two rounds, both players missed on their first shot. And, oh, Malloy coming up short. Perhaps a backboard for McCleary here. Not quite giving the opportunity. Very heavy hanger. Going to be a strong push here for Malloy. A little bit too strong. Now, McCleary is up a 20, but he is against a hammer, so he is comfortable right now, but he wants to make sure he doesn't give Malloy any opportunities here, such as that. Loses a shooter. Malloy now, if he can get an open 20, will even the playing field. Very nice from him. Pressure is actually on McCleary now from that mistake. Malloy has one disc on the board. He needs to make anything happen here. He needs either a 20 or to draw a mistake out of Malloy. That 20 opportunity could be here. Bit of a push, bit of an angle in. Very, very close. Seem to be just a little bit off. Players now fighting for those 20s. Nobody's really looking to play defense this round. Seems that both players want to have that 20s advantage. Most importantly, McCleary. Oh, Malloy. Oh! With a uh, camera catch there. A little bit of a bump. And making sure the camera's still on. Fast acting Malloy during match. Great multitasking there. Oh, very nice backboard 20. Manages to get the off of the opponent's disc. Doesn't lose his own either, which was very, very good on McCleary's part. Now in a very strong position. Up 20. Scores another one here. Up two in the 20s cup. He's all but sealed the round. As long as he doesn't bump this in for Malloy. Gets this off. This third round is officially going to McCleary. The score will be 5-1. Now McCleary is one round away from taking the win in the semifinal match. He's at five. He wins another round. An additional two points to hit the goal post of seven. Pressure is on Malloy, who is currently down two rounds. Comes up short. Seems to be 
just past that 15 line. McCleary now, very content most likely to hit and stick. Yep. No super clear opportunities here for Malloy. He will be pushing for a 20. Seemed to be a little bit of push behind that shot. McCleary now will most likely be looking not to give any opportunities to Malloy. Now we have seen some aggressive play from McCleary. You see a little bit of a wince there. He knows he left that a little bit too close for Malloy, who may have a touch 20 opportunity and misses, leaving an open 20 opportunity for McCleary here. And yeah, I would drink after that shot too. <laughs> Seems Malloy is taking a second to get his head back in the game, so to speak. Finished with his liquid courage, getting his head back in the game. <laughs> Bit of a finger wag from McCleary here, who's now amped up. Oh, it seems it is uh, not completely helped. Keeps his disc on the board, but unable to convert on the 20. Pressure is definitely on Malloy now. Down to 20 and against the hammer. He does have a chance now to even out the playing field with an open board opportunity. Oh! <laughs> Comments that he may need another. Very unfortunate. Sometimes those discs, especially if uh, you don't get enough wax on them, can just catch on the board. McCleary goes long. Malloy now able to get that off. Somewhat nicely in front of the post. Not completely, though. McCleary is able to get it off. Malloy will be going for an angle in. He certainly needs it. And he gets it. Very nice shot. Still a little bit of a hole to dig himself out of. Oh, and the opportunity here for Malloy. If he can get the off and the 20, pressure will be on McCleary. Looks like that last disc is in the five point region. So McCleary needs the 20 to win this round. And it is a tie, bringing the score six to two. McCleary still in the clear advantage. However, that is not seven points quite yet. So players will continue on. That being said, Malloy is backed into a corner. He can now not afford to tie another round. Another tie would bring McCleary to the seven point goal post and he would go on to the finals. So Malloy needs to win every round from here on out, at least until he gets to six points. McCleary with a very nice backboard there up a 220 advantage. Malloy putting McCleary in not a great position now with one of his discs back in the five region. Cleary able to get it. Very nice. Open board. Malloy has the opportunity to even the 20s cup. Very nice. Even playing field now. It really comes down to who will mess up first. Cleary keeping the pressure on. Now McCleary scores every 20 from here on out. If this 20s race goes to the end. That would be a tied round, and McCleary would ultimately win the game and move on to the finals. So all McCleary needs to do is not miss. Certainly easier said than done. 420s for each player now. Three more shots to go. McCleary getting closer and closer to that goalpost of winning the semi-final round. Malloy keeping the pressure on. It's actually quite intense if, uh, again, if McCleary is able to get these last two 20s, he guarantees himself the advancement to the final round. Malloy keeping the pressure on, and it all comes down to this shot. If McCleary is able to get this 20, he has at the very least tied the round, which is enough, and he does it. That is a wrap on the semi-final round match we have a fist bump handshake mix match but mccleary is a winner and will move on to the finals round of the dallas singles crokinole championship
Mark McCleary will play the winner of the other semifinal match between Mark Harper and Robert Rush, which will be out Thursday, August 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you tune in to that match. Thank you again for watching this Crokinole action and make it a great day.